my vision is everything to me, uh, both as a craftsperson and as an artist. Meet Brian Allen, owner of Officina Briani, a place where he creates the finest wedding and special occasion invitations and other print products using Gutenberg's technology. I look through the a loop, a magnifying glass to check that everything is uh, printing well and deep on uh, handmade papers. So uh, good vision is uh, still a critical function. No room for error here and no place for what he later recognized as signs of diabetes. My vision was blurry, frequent urination, kind of the classic symptoms of type 2 diabetes. But the blurry vision was what scared me into uh, going to the doctor. The doctor told Brian she'd rarely seen numbers as high as his. It was definitely diabetes with the A1C being over 14. The desired value is uh, in the six range, so it was more than double what it should have been. I was terrified by being diagnosed uh, as a diabetic. The thought of uh, going blind was truly terrifying. The thing about diabetes is that the symptoms aren't there until the blood sugars are already uncontrolled. And at the time that they're diagnosed with diabetes, it's because the pancreas can't make as much insulin as needed anymore. We need insulin so that we can get the sugars, we call it glucose, out of the blood and into the cells of the body for energy. Rex diabetes educator Shelley Connors shows us the difference between blood with a normal glucose of 100 and blood when it's loaded with sugar. Unable to transition into the cells with a glucose of 200, the blood is literally like syrup or molasses. And this is a normal concentration of sugar. And then we move to high blood sugar. This is a sugar concentration of 200 in the red solution. And the beads depicting your red blood cells flowing through that concentration of 200. Okay, so a lot more sluggish. This is really a good visual for all of our symptoms that we have with the, um, the body's dehydrated, so we have increased thirst. And then the body's trying to get rid of some of the sugar, so we have frequent urination. And the sugar's in the blood, so the body's not getting energy, so the body's tired. And at risk for damage. The complications of diabetes occur because of changes as a result of extra sugar in circulation causing damage to the different areas of blood vessels, the nerve endings. The blindness. Increased risk for heart attack and stroke and peripheral vascular disease. Foot amputation. Diabetes ulcers mm -hmm. that lead to amputation. Kidney damage, again, that's related to um, circulatory uh, glucoses coming into the kidneys and damaging the uh, kidneys being able to filter properly. A whole host of uh, terrible things could happen if it continued on Brian admits it was tough controlling his diabetes, becoming more active, restricting carbs, salt, missing his favorite foods. Ice cream, soda, uh, the usual American diet, uh, chips. He did eventually lose weight, bringing his AC1 way down from 14. Now it's 5.5, .5, which is pretty much in the normal range. But the good numbers came in a bad way. Brian lost the weight while being treated for cancer. That's the main message, don't get overweight. That it is so hard to lose the weight, just don't go there.